All right, guys, check out this little guy. Now, this is the Gulf Coast Ribbon Snake. This is a species of semi-aquatic snake. Uh, our first one of the trip and the first one I've ever seen before. As you can see, he looks very similar to the ribbon snakes, and I've shown one of those in my previous videos. And just like the eastern ribbon snakes that we have back in North Carolina, these guys have a very simple ecological niche. So they're usually found by water ecosystems. They prey on things like frogs, toads, invertebrates. Uh, once they get bigger, up to around their max size of two feet or so, they can prey on larger things as well. Uh, but something of this size is probably honestly just hunting little invertebrates. Now, we actually found him in a brackish water little tidal channel here. Um, and so what that means is he could also be preying on some of those saltwater um, organisms and we've seen lots of little fiddler crabs so it's definitely not impossible that he goes in those holes and chases them and eats them as well. Uh, Ribbon snakes are active diurnal predators chasing after their prey items rather than lying in wait for an ambush like pit vipers. Their huge eyes provide them with excellent vision enabling them to view an extremely wide area and locking on to any movements. Also it increases their cuteness value to well over 9,000. It's over 9,000! What 9,000? Uh, but these guys are just super beautiful little snakes. Uh, I mean, look at that coloration. It's absolutely gorgeous. You have the orange in the back and yellow, greenish on the belly. Uh, once again, this isn't a fully grown individual, but still very pretty. Now, these are commonly seen when fishing, kind of like Nerodia. They live in a very, very similar habitat. Uh, maybe if you've never seen one before, you could confuse it with a venomous species that lives near the water, but these guys are completely harmless to humans. Uh, they're not constrictors, nor are they venomous. Uh, they just kind of grab the prey and swallow it whole. They don't really have to deal with anything that could fight back. Uh, so these are... Are you rolling? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, look, Thomas just got the bigger version of this. If you're wondering what they look like when they grow up, that's what they look like. As you can see, it's basically just this times like 10. Um, there's definitely a population of them here. I mean, these were found like five feet apart. This one actually tagged Thomas on the hand. He's trying to tag him on the nose. As you can see, there's some bleeding. That's what the bite from these would look like. Um, obviously, it's not gonna be a health risk to Thomas. However, since they are rear fanged, they have very mild neurotoxic venom. Um, and if they do chew on you for long enough, you could have a reaction to that. So. Uh, handling these, if you do get bit, just make sure you don't let them like chew on your finger for more than a minute. Not sure why you would, but don't do it. So yeah, that's an adult. As you can see, when they get older, they can get slightly angry. But when they're this size, they're still really cute. <laughs> Not only are ribbon snakes adorable, they are also very ecologically important. Like many snake species, ribbon snakes make up the middle of the food chains where they are present, helping to keep populations of their prey items in check while also providing food for higher level consumers like raptors or large fish. Also, because they are a semi-aquatic species, ribbon snakes help transfer nutrients between terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems, creating a pathway for energy to flow between the two seemingly separate systems and ensuring that neither has too much or too little energy. Alright guys, let's get these snakes back in the wild. One is significantly faster, <laughs> but you can see the camouflage starting to work. There you see the, the orange stripe, even though it is when you get it off out of habitat, it's pretty easy to see those colors. As soon as they get back into the habitat, that stripe really helps break up their outline, especially when there's patches of sunlight and shade. Super cool. Well everyone, that's just about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the Gulf Coast Ribbon Snake. If you did enjoy, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for more educational wildlife content coming every Saturday morning. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Benzino of The Wild Report, signing out.